first of all, Carnival is closing. How has it been for you as a booth holder? Well, it wasn't that bad. Could have been better. But to me, last year was better than this year. And it should have been better for the 50th anniversary. We was looking forward for that, to be more excited. What do you think might have been, uh, might have been the cause for it being better last year? I think they had better um, entertainment because this entertainment wasn't that good. It should have been better and it should have been out and out and all, out and about for the 50th anniversary. Overall, how was it for you as a booth holder? Well, it was good. Cannot complain, thank God. Because many complain they're not making it, but you have to push. Uh, first of all, how was Carnival 2019 for, for you? Well, Carnival 20, 2019, can't complain because it was my first time. Didn't know what to expect, so I wouldn't say it was that profitable, but it's good. Would you say that you were well and supported during the various shows? Yes, yes it was. Yes it was. Had a good turnout. Yes. This is your first time taking up a booth, as you put it. Um, is it your intention to continue for next year? Yes, I would love to continue. It's an experience. Yeah, I would love to do it a second year and then even go better because this year it was like my first year so I didn't know what Prior. to expect. Yeah, so next year I'll, I'll put in to get a to get boot. If I get through, I'm going to have it better. Obviously, you're a happy person. Um, some hard work went into this entire season, I'm sure, for you. Yes, it's a lot of hard work, a lot. No sleep. It's really hard. It's not. It's not an easy task, but you have to. You have to give all to it. First experience. How was it? It was okay. For the very first time, we had a booth in the village. It was okay. We had the crowd. You have to put all your effort into it. You don't sleep. Sometime in the morning when we wake up, we leave there five o'clock. Go home, take a little rest, come back to prepare lunch. Prepare lunch for the people. Mm. Will you do it again though? Yes, we will. We will do it again. Next year, we try trying our best to get the book back. Well, Carval 2019 is finally getting to a close. Uh, how was it for you? I'll tell you what, it was a kind of real, real tiresome this year. But nevertheless, we did very well and it was enjoyable every year. Same old, same old, but this year was the bomb, it was the best. Was it profitable for you as a booth holder? Yes, I can't complain. I've seen the profit and it was very profitable. Looking forward to next year, I take it? Um, yes, yes. As long as life prevails, God gave us health. Looking for forward for next year. Okay. Well, the curtains are coming down and kind of 2019, the 50th anniversary. Mm -hmm. And for some booth holders, holders, it has been a journey of excitement, most of all profitable as well. For you as a booth holder, how would you go about describing the carnival activities for 2019? The carnival activities, hmm, it was very, very, very stressful. We have um, a burger we have on the market, and we just have crazy, crazy orders, and people just come here and want to bring our necks off because we have orders backed up inside. And they can't wait. Sometimes we have to wait an hour, two hours to get a burger, but, but it really worth the wait, though. Is that your first time as a booth holder? No. We've been here for like maybe 15 years. Yeah, we had a, a time span in between. We was out for three years, then we back about two years now. Fifteen years, a very long time. I yeah. take it that it has been working for you as an investor in Canva. Yes, it is. It is a it's, it's a good investment. A lot of hard work. Well, the cookout competition, which was held on Monday night, has been won by book number twenty six. And the trophy says St. Martin Carnival Development Foundation Cook Cook Up Winner 2019. First of all, how does it feel 
for you to be able to win this Kukau Championship? It was very good, uh, good feeling. Uh, it was our third year back to back con competing in the competition. And yeah, together with the team, we, we did it, we pulled through. Anything in particular that you hoped during this cookout um, storm? Well, everyone had, had to cook the stew beef and rice and uh, um, pigeon peas and rice and the seafood soup. But we had um, our stew beef slow cook with, uh, my, first it was marinated in red wine and then slow cook with red wine again also with fireball whiskey and brings a good flavor to it. And too, we also have it on the menu today. For the last day you can get the taste of the winning stew beef. Now, let me give you a plug in. Apart from carnival activities, is there a restaurant where we are able to find you? Well, right now we're in the process of putting a restaurant together. So in, a, in, a, in the coming months, we will have something. It will be named Vagabond Grill. We look up front, you see the flags. We are kind of advertising it. We have flyers around too. Vagabond Grill. Vagabond Grill. What of the location? Well, we are currently working to get a location in Cahill. And for some of the booth holders, it has been a challenging yes. time. And we are speaking here now to one of those booth holders. First of all, describe the experience of our. Well, it was a good experience. Very good. I've been in there for a while now. But this year was very rough. With the international shows back to back, mm -hmm. it was very rough. But we pulled it out. It was great. It was rough in what we are told. I'm like tired, a lot of work. You now we have to do extra work like we just gone by. But we still make it through. Mm -hmm. Some say that it was very profitable as well for yes. them. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to next year already? Definitely. Definitely. Once I have life strength, I will be been said that behind every door, possibility awaits. How much possibility depends on which door you open first. Every day, we help our customers discover the possibilities in their lives. It all starts with a conversation. Scotiabank. Discover what's possible. GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you whether in person, over the phone or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, -E, powering a brighter future. Our friend Mega Wadi is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. <laughs> by recognizing them and with that remembering our forerunners and continue united in building the future of decent work that's our theme for um this year 
As we all know, Labor Day is celebrated across the globe on May 1st. Some places in September, the first Monday of the month. Nevertheless, this day is to celebrate and to pay tribute to the workers who has made great contribution to make the world more strong and prosperous. Let me go back to history. Earlier in the 19th century, working conditions were severe and by then, workers went on strike because of 12 hour shifts and 16 hour shifts without pay for the extra hours. They demanded eight hours work, eight hours recreation, and eight hours for rest. Labor Day constitutes many privileges and welfare for the working men and women. We got to always remember that no company should compel their workers to work more than eight hours a day without getting paid for those extra hours. Sad to say, there are some companies that still do so in these modern days because they are taking advantage of ununionized workers and less fortunate. We also have to educate and support each other. Know that no company can grow without hiring people who are dedicated to work for them. So in turn of that, they deserve to respect the respect and fair judgment for duties delivered on their part. Labor Day has given the right to all the workers to enjoy the freedom and the privileges they have been for their contribution to this nation. My last page. <laughs> we shall look at the progress in building the future of decent work. This is what Labor Day should mean to us today. There are still plenty of labor issues at play. In addition to concerns over unemployment rates, the gender wage gap, and a livable minimum wage have been hot topics in recent years. Observing Labor Day, every leader and everyone has not really seen the effect very much due to the fact that many people don't actually know the true meaning or significance of Labor Day as we know it as last lap day. Right? Everybody ready to go last lap. Okay? And this hasn't helped us with our Labor Day. I will close this with the future goals. We all should walk towards. It has to be a day dedicated to celebrating the efforts of workers, past and present, that have helped provide the social, political, and economic backbone of our country, St. Martin. Let us level up. Happy Labor Day to all my best brothers and sisters.
Hey ma, how are you doing? You busy? I hear, just paying some bills, taking care of business, you know what it is? <laughs> I know, you're doing your online banking. I don't have to stand in those long lines to pay bills. I can transfer when I want, I can check my account wherever. It's like the bank open 24-7. I even hear checking the statement right now as we're talking. How's Miami? Well, that's why I'm calling. I'm finishing up a few songs now. But I'm afraid that studio time might be more than I thought. And I was wondering if I could get some help with some funds. And I could pay you back as soon as I get back to St. Martin. Let me check my account. How much you need? I think 500 should be enough. I can transfer it to you while you're online. Direct from me to you. No problem. Great. Thank you so much, Ma. I'll get online with Bib now. All right, darling. You know who you're for. <laughs> I need to know who you're for. Contact Web today for your complete personal online banking experience. Available for all mobile devices. The Winwood Islands Bank. Now your online banking partner in progress. Question I'm going to answer came from yourself, Madam Chair, MP. Westcott Williams asks, any progress been made following the request for seeking funding from World Bank based on the subsi subsidiary agreement? There is no change in this. GB provided comments on the draft subsidiary agreement and no information was received back as yet from the NRPB or the World Bank. Um, next was projects for street lights. Is that part of the World Bank, World Bank funding? Or is this separate? There is an order of street lights that was made for a limited amount of 180 addition, additional LED light heads, which are awaiting delivery to the island. The remainder is part of the funding request to the World Bank. Um, next, MP Richardson asked, Minister, please provide GB with an update on the situation with the contract of the management of GB, which I did answer that <clears throat> we're waiting on the evaluations from the supervisory board, which should be completed before October, the end of October when the contracts are due to end. MP then asked, how is GB dealing with the issues and information that come to the public from management and board perspective, how are we dealing with these issues? Um, MP, the G GB has outsourced the email server that was previously managed internally and moved it to the cloud. Therefore, the documents that are in the emails are no longer accessible to anybody and everybody. And as you may see, all the information to date is old information and, docu and documents from GB are not included. That's the information that is being released right now. It's old information and no GB documents are included in that info. Uh, the staff was also notified of the consequences of leakages in assemblies and written notices. In addition, GB has implemented implemented data loggers that can track persons that access information from the server. MP Peterson then asked for an update on the funding via World Bank. How far is it with the signing of the subsidiary agreement? This question was answered under the question <coughs> of MP Westcott Williams. <coughs> MP then asked the status on the tanks that were damaged by hurricane is there financing in place for this or will the World Bank be financing this? Because of the loss of the tanks, there is an acute water situation such as low water pressure in certain areas and other network issues. GB has resolved in the meantime to use cash via a budget amendment to construct three tanks this year in the areas of Guana Bay, Kupakoi, and Cloud Estate. 
As a result of the acute situation, GB cannot await the, for World Bank funding for this. <clears throat> MP then asks, what is the long-term plan for the damaged building on Pond Phil that was heavily damaged by Hurricane Irma? The plan to demolish the build the plan is to demolish the building in question. Requests for proposals have been sent out, and GB plans to demolish it before the high part of the hurricane season, the peak of the hurricane season. MP Doran then asks who collaborates the meters. Minister Tayat mentioned that a team of inspectors would be going to the Netherlands to get training on this, and they will be doing that. As we stated in the first set of questions, the digital meters do not need to be calibrated. We will inquire with the Minister of Tiat about the type of training the persons going to the Netherlands are will be doing. Uh, MP then asked for a brief, a brief explanation needed on the program for the meters for the meter resealing and replacement program. With the resealing of the meters, GB aims to reduce theft of electricity with the seal that is placed. The replacement of the meters is ongoing. For the meter resealing part, GB has identified persons for the teams and the seals have been ordered already. This will be starting later in this year, 2019. With the smart meter concept, the MP then asks, what is the timeline to have this department up and functioning properly? At the moment, there is still a hiring freeze in place for personnel at GB. Additionally, the replacement program is ongoing, and the smart meter concept will start once financing is in place. So we can anticipate that in the fourth quarter of this year, the department should be up and running. MP Doran then asked concerning ICT systems, without too much details, what are the efforts being made to avoid breaches? Some clarity about this regarding the cloud. This question was answered under the question of MP Richardson. <coughs> then MP Doran asked about laying off workers. What were the proposals of management that the unions did not accept? And the main proposals from manage management that the unions did not accept were management wanted the employees to give in the bonus of the bonus for two years. Management also wanted employees to cover the ROV payment. MP Doran then asked, were measures imposed on GB in order to get funds? The reply is no, there were no measures imposed on GB for funds.